about after the talk. So I'm going to hand back to David now, and he's going to talk a bit about uh, Engage. Thanks, Dave. OK, so what we're also developing in the background, like Apollo 11 and Titanic, we call these our showcase experiences. And as a company, these showcase experiences really attract the right type of um, talent to us. But we're also building a platform, and the platform is called Engage. And what Engage allows you to do is any educator can teach any subject to anybody else in the world in a virtual environment. And why even teach class in a classroom? So if you want to teach marine biology, why not teach that on the seabed and have a whale swim through the center of the class? So it's a lot more engaging. And the platform, when you're inside, you have a VR headset and hand controllers. So you can see we have an avatar here. And um, we only have three points of data. So we're only tracking the person's head and our hands. And then we use an IK system to extrapolate how the people should move in a virtual space. But the, ed the engaged platform also allows you to create your own content. So um, there is an invitation to everybody here. If you want to use the Engage platform, it's completely free to use. You can go in, you can have meetings, you can have whiteboard sessions. You can also record a presentation inside Engage, and you can drop in any FBX files that you want. So if you're um, teaching animation to somebody, you can bring in that file into Engage, and it can appear to the person in, in front of um, in front of you in virtual reality. It's a fully networked environment. Here you can see um, that's me up in the corner in the real world, and this is my VR avatar in the Engage platform. And you can see the tracking is one-to-one, -one, so it's, it's a very intuitive system to use. And there's a virtual reality tablet. This is how I drop in um, models. So if you have a model in FBX format with an animation, you can drop it in. So it makes your presentations um, very, very engaging. Um, and you can have up to 35 people in the same room at the same time. But if you are a really good presenter and um, you record one of your presentations, you can upload that to the platform. So you don't even have to be in the platform live. Somebody can go in and download that uh, presentation and watch it as if it was happening live again. Um, oh, sorry, before I go on to that, um, because we have been talking about Titanic quite a bit. If you could just drop the lights, please. Um, this is the trailer that we used for our Kickstarter about a year ago. Again, this is just really a tease. It doesn't really show the animation, but it'll give you a feel for what Titanic is all about. See this huge thing with four funnels? I thought she was something out of the ordinary. My gosh. She was the last word in luxury. All her public rooms were absolutely amazing. All the woodwork was beautifully carved. And she had everything, everything that you could think of. It, that she was a beautiful ship. No lifeboat drills, uh, and the list of lifeboats, I believe, was put up in the galley about the day that we struck an iceberg. Nobody knew where their boats were. Lifeboats were things that they weren't necessary. You see, we were, we were on a ship that was unsinkable. So that's, that's just to give you a little feel for what Titanic is all about. That was a real survivor you could hear um, in the audio. Um, we've done a deal with BBC. They've interviewed a lot of survivors over the years. Um, obviously, they're all passed away now. But when you're exploring the ship, you're going to hear the real stories from the real survivors themselves. Um, what I am going to finish on, this is just a short uh, video clip. So when we released Apollo 11, um, a demo of it two years ago, um, we had a Kickstarter campaign. and. With virtual reality, a lot of people talk about empathy and presence. And this guy, I could, I could talk for hours and hours and hours about virtual reality, but this guy um, really explains what it's like to be inside virtual reality and to view animations and to feel like you're taking part in a real event. So I'm just going to play this clip. 
So, yeah, that was the end of the demo. Uh, I just I'm recording uh, this end part because uh, my unfortunately my webcam uh, stopped at the end there. But uh, I'm just gonna pretty much say what I said there and that this this was absolutely amazing. Like this was just incredible. It makes me so happy that my my rift that my rift right here can make me feel feel such powerful emotions from something that wasn't even real. Uh, can you imagine, like, if you were back in high school, and you were in your science class, and you started talking about the Apollo missions, and instead of going through a long lecture about it, they gave you a VR headset and put you in this. How much, how much more is that able to teach you than just someone talking, sitting up there talking about it? Not that it's a bad thing, but this is just so much more powerful. I, I felt like I was in that space shuttle with Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, and uh, Michael Collins. That was... Uh, I'm not crying, but I, I just <laughs> feel like I want to. Because... <laughs> That's all I can. That's all I can say about it. I just, it. It was just amazing, and these guys did a fantastic job on it. Yeah. That's. I'm definitely, definitely, gonna be backing them a lot now, because this needs to happen. This needs to become a thing. Virtual reality education, things like this, need to become a thing. So he actually goes talking for another 15 minutes if you look him up on YouTube. <laughs> so I, I, just, I just cut it down there. But um, it's our company's belief that education should not be an aspiration. It's a right of every human being. And with the Engage platform, we're hoping that we can provide education to those who can't afford to go to brick and mortar institutes. And that's the goal of the company. So as I did show in the previous slide, if there is anybody um, looking for work and willing to move to Ireland, so we'd be happy to talk to you. Thanks very much.